Hello, in today's video, I will show you how to automate a Windows application with Macro Recorder. I use Total Commander as an example to learn. If you like the application, buy it or use Free Commander. By the way, I have a detailed video tutorial on Free Commander on my YouTube channel. Check it out. And while we're at it, please like the video to support my channel so I stay motivated to make more wonderful videos like this one. Total Commander is a popular file manager. A message window is displayed every time when the program is started. You must press the correct button to be able to use the program. Or you can automate this dreary task with Macro Recorder. You don't have to spend any money. The free version will do the trick. I am using the latest version 3, but what I am going to show also works in older versions. First, I'll arrange the windows appropriately and save the start position of the total commander window. A macro recorder script consists of several actions. In the first step, we will start total commander automatically. So we select execute program from the MISC toolbar. Select the total commander executable file, then press OK. The first action will appear in macro recorder. The next step is important to ensure the reliability of the script. After running the application, the nav will appear. Select and add the set windows focus action. Uncheck the settings below as we don't care about the window position or size. Now search for the button to be pressed. In this case, the application wants us to press button number 2. Add detect image from the drop down menu and select the right section. Repeat the steps until you have created three actions for all three alternatives. Sort the actions. Add a smart click action. Hover the mouse over the correct button and press the spacebar. A red cross will appear. Move the mouse pointer away and press the spacebar again. Make sure that the images are the same. Repeat the steps for the remaining buttons 2 and 3. Next, you need to define what should happen when the message screen appears. When the first image is found, the first button should be pressed. Define labels. Select the first name, then copy and paste it to speed up the process. Double-click the first search for image action. Here you define what happens if the image was found in the NAG dialog. If image 1 is found, go to first label, which contains the smart click action. If the image 1 is not found within 2 seconds, go to next action. In next action, we'll search for the second image. Repeat and define what should happen if button number 2 is found in the message window. And last but not least, double-click search for image button number 3. As this is the last image search action, if not found in between 2 seconds, then go to end. Let's give our script a test drive. You can run the script from the selected action. You will notice, and this will happen to you as well when using Macro Recorder. Sometimes the scripts don't work from the beginning. Oftentimes they need some fine tuning. That's why I'm not cutting anything out here, but showing you how I solved the problem in case you want to replicate the script. Okay, once again from the beginning. It works as expected, at least that's what I thought. For some reason, the number got underlined in my case. This happens with applications when you press the R key. But don't you worry, I will show you in a second how to fix this in case you are running into the same issue. Instead of searching for the button, you can simply press a hotkey. Alt plus 1 will press the first button, Alt plus 2 the second and Alt plus 3 the third. OK, start the script again. As you can see, Everything works now and the script is more reliable than ever. To further improve the script, 
You could start the script int the background without showing the macro recorder window by using command line parameters. I have a video on that topic on my channel, check it out if you want. That's it for today. You have learned how to automate a window application with macro recorder. With macro recorder you can save time and reduce repetitive actions. Thanks for watching the video. If you are happy leave a comment below the video.